Hello my friend and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how we are going to do this color separation by using the CMYK method. So let's see how we do this. Stay back and let's get started. All right, so first thing first what we need to do is we need to check we need to check the file so we'll go to image and the resolution is 300 the width and the height is fine and that's perfectly fine now we'll open and a new file for our template for me i'm using the 13 by 19 film so i'm going to do that and here the color mode i'm going to select the cmyk i'll make create and then we are going to copy this control a and control c to copy and control or command v to paste this over here all right so we've got a quite a nice uh, layout going on and uh, now what we need to do is we need to go to channels and what we'll do is we're gonna duplicate all this right so remember we are trying to do a basic CMYK color separation to be printed on a white t-shirt. So this is a very basic one uh, and then we have got a very advanced level as well but we are going to start off with the very basic so that you know and you can feel what are the things it's needed for doing a CMYK color separations right. Okay, so let's go and duplicate this. We'll click on the cyan and right click. You'll see the duplicate channel. You just pressed OK. And we've got the magenta. You press OK. Duplicate. And lastly, the black. Okay, so we've got this now. You can see there is no colors here because we have not input the colors. So you double click on cyan. Select the spot color. Go to the color and cyan you can see here just give 100 percent and rest everything zero okay press ok solidary five percent now same thing for the magenta we go here and let's give a hundred and rest all zero and we'll give this and then we have got the yellow this one first we will turn it to zero and yellow to 100 and this one to five and finally we have the black which we will just keep it to 100 percent right okay the black i just want to reduce the black a little bit probably somewhere around here okay so if we go and compare this with our original original file this is in um, this is in the uh, RGB mode and this one is in the CMYK mode right you can see there is a little bit of color difference so let's see if we can adjust a little bit what about if we go and print the yellow first well it is coming to that so if you can see that if we print the yellow first and magenta next and then the cyan and then you know the black it is quite coming well but if we pr print the cyan yellow yellow last probably i'll print this way right so i'll give the magenta a little bit more i'll control l and then you know i'll make it a little bit yeah somewhere like that okay i think that is fine cyan yellow uh probably i'll just print the yellow at the last and reduced the yellow a little bit not much okay uh no i'll just leave it to that but i'll increase the magenta a little bit okay control l for curve okay there you go yeah i think that is fine okay in cmyk there will always be some color difference okay that is why we uh, sometimes i like to print 
in uh, not in CMYK but uh, that is what we have to do right so we have got this cyan we've got the magenta we've got the yellow and we've got the black now what we can do is we can just hit the cyan with control a control c and control n and you press enter and press control v which will bring our cyan you go to image mode bitmap okay 300 resolutions half tone screens and uh, for the cyan we are going to give the frequency let's say let's give a little bit higher let's say let's give a 60 right and we will give the angle at for cyan will be 15 shape will keep at round so you can note this down the angle the frequency will remain the same okay you have to use 200 and above mesh count to print this angle we are going to use 15 and for cyan and round okay there you go and we will change it to grayscale and finally to rgb right okay so we're gonna unlock this double click and we're gonna name this as cyan <coughs> we'll bring out a new layer and we're just gonna bucket paint with white and we're gonna delete the background and double click for the color overlay and here we are going to give 100 percent okay all right so we have the cyan we will rasterize this rasterize layer if you click right click you'll see rasterize layer and now we are going to bring the magenta control a control c control n and the control v to paste this bitmap rest everything will be there 60 now for magenta we're gonna give 75 okay press ok grayscale and finally the rgb control a control c okay we are going to bring here we are going to delete the background and this one is magenta so rest everything i will keep it zero and only the magenta i will give it 200 percent so I'll rasterize this and here i'm going to multiply it okay this is m c and m all right so next we have is the yellow control a control c control n and control v so we're gonna bitmap this and we're gonna give the angle to zero rest everything will be same mode grayscale and rgb control a control c and after that we're gonna bring it here delete the background double click it color overlay go to uh, change everything and accept the yellow to 100 percent okay we are going to rasterize this layer we're gonna name this and we are going to multiply it this way and now we've got the finally the black control a control c control n and paste it over here we are going to do the bitmap here we are going to give 45 angle okay grayscale rgb control a control c we will close this we'll bring this over here i'm gonna delete this all right so here we go so this is going to be our the lack black if you want you can double color overlay this to black Okay, I'm going to rasterize this layer okay so we have got the black we've got the yellow we've got the magenta and we have got the cyan now the print this is our background t-shirt okay BT so the sequencing will be something like this we have got the cyan first second is the magenta yellow third and lastly the black if you try to print the yellow first let's see what happens okay 
so you can see if you try to print the yellow first and cyan probably cyan second it will work but you know there will be some changes so i recommend you to follow the sequence as this one because we got the sequencing from our master plan right cyan magenta yellow and black so we want to keep it that way so this is how it's going to turn out and if we look at our original picture let's see how it is turning out if we go to layer okay so this is our original uh, probably i'll take the rgb one okay so this is our original and this is the color separated so it's almost perfectly almost similar right so in the white t-shirt it will look as exactly as this one so you can try on and see how does it looks like you can print it out remember to you know print this on uh, 200 and above mesh count maybe 200 or 220 to 40 mesh count you can use if you can use the yellow mesh it is good uh, because it can capture the tiny details and don't forget to put the markings the uh, registration mark along with your color marking otherwise you will not know which layer is which one so example if it is C turn it back to black and you put here your registration mark and also write it down here as cyan same way for all these things okay so I hope you like this video if you not uh, if you want to you know know further you can subscribe to us you know and also if you want to learn more advanced technique than uh, if you are from india you can definitely contact us and we run three days course every month so we are having an upcoming batch yeah let's see how things goes up right thank you for watching this video and have a nice day see you